Now that we have kind of a quasi understanding of the golden ratio and how I can use Adobe Illustrator to basically build this for me, more importantly, do the math. Keep in mind, in most Adobe products and also back in the day, Quirk Express, anytime you see a dialog box in most, not all Adobe products, but most Adobe products, you can do the math. Divide, subtract, add, multiply, etc., etc., etc. So right now, we don't need these shapes any longer, so I'm going to select all and delete. Now, notice that the guides went with that. Now, the reason the guides went with that, because under the view menu, by default, I, didn't have, I did not have the guides locked, and that was okay for this demonstration. Now, moving forward, I do want to lock the guides because I don't want to make them selectable. Make a change, save a change. Now, if you recall, in our previous video, we locked this putty colored shape. Okay, so how do I unlock it? Well, very simple. Anything about the object is under the object menu. And objects, menus, or basically any menu for that matter, comes down to choice based on these choices. Well, there's a lot of things in here that are not available because they're not choices because I have nothing selected. But I do want to unlock all. Now, I can selectively lock, but I can't selectively unlock. That's what layers are for. We're not talking about layers right now. We're simply talking about unlocking the objects so we can utilize this. Now, this is a very cool technique. I can pretty much guarantee and assure you, unless you watch one of my videos, or unless you are fortunate enough to be one of my students already, I can assure you have not seen this technique anywhere, any book, any way, anyhow. I believe in squeezing the sponge on the software. If there's a better, faster way to do things, sometimes I keep myself up to 4 o'clock in the morning with techniques. Training guys and gals, boys and girls, people from New Jersey. Uh, I can say that because I'm from New Jersey. But no longer. I moved to New York City, Central Park, uh, 30 years ago. Okay, so what I want to share with you is if there's a better, faster way to do things. It, training is all about technique. It's not some guy that took a night class at Dreamweaver and all of a sudden he's going to teach you Dreamweaver. Well, if he doesn't understand how it thinks and what it expects and what you can do with the software, you're wasting your time. So watch this. Here's my objective. I have a 960 width, uh, and for responsive design, by the way, I'm only, convert, I'm only concerned about the width of a, of a device, not the height of a device. So what I want to do is break this box into 12 columns going across and five rows going up and down. Okay, now to throw a little bit of a curve here, I also want to have, and this is a very common thing, I want to have 20 pixels of space between both my rows and columns. Now, for some of you, say, so, oh yeah, I know how to do that. I'll just create a box and then move it over or copy and paste it and get some guides and drive myself insane. And maybe two years from now, when you finally start to figure out, it'll all make sense. Okay, let's work smart. Let's suck the marrow here. Let's the soft, let the software work for us if you know how to do this. So what I'm trying to share with you is anything about the object based on what you select. Right now I have nothing selected. So if I go to the object menu, I'm going to have diddly nothing because I have nothing selected. In order to affect something, you got to select something. In order to affect that Big Mac, you got to select that Big Mac. In order to affect that Diet Coke, you got to select that Diet Coke. It all comes down to selection. Then based on what you have selected, what do you want to do with it? Well, what is it? Well, Robert's teaching you that this is an object. Therefore, anything about the object is under the object menu. More specifically, according to the rules of Illustrator, Illustrator is an object-based program. I mentioned that before. But basically, it creates paths. Paths are made up of anchor points. Anchor points, there's an open path and there's a closed path. So based on these choices, if we want to do something to the path, it's under the path menu, which is absolutely true. And based on these choices, anytime you see a dialog box, dot, 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 you're going to get a dialog box next to a menu choice. Any menu in any program, After Effects, Maya, 3D Studio Max, Microsoft Word for that matter, Word Perfect back in the day. Anything that's a dot, dot, dot next to it, you're going to get a dialog box. Here is my dialog box. Pretty simple. Now, the unfortunate thing is that dialog box, that menu choice, did not have a, let's cancel this for a second, it didn't have a shortcut by default. Now, we're going to be using this quite a bit. So before I go any further, I want to create a shortcut for that so I don't have to reinvent the wheel. I'm a shortcut kind of guy. I'm a lazy guy. I want to let the software work for me and share those techniques with you, my valued students. 
So how do we do this? Well, anything about editing is under the Edit menu, Edit Keyboard Shortcuts. And based on these choices, we want to go to the menu commands. And based on these choices, we want to go to the object menu. And based on these choices, we want to go down in the path menu. And based on these choices, the ankle bone connected, you get the idea. We want to split into grid. Now, split into grid doesn't have a shortcut. Now, based on my vast knowledge and experience, I found out that command option equal is a good shortcut we can use for this. Command option equal. Control Alt equal for Windows. And I'm just going to hit OK. Now, it doesn't enable you to change the default of your Illustrator file because it would really screw things up. So we're just going to call this golden ratio KBSC, keyboard shortcuts, or anything that makes sense to you. Great. So what does that mean now? Now when I go to the object menu and go to the path menu, now I have a shortcut to use this. And I said earlier we want to divide this into five rows, top and bottom, with 20 pixels of space in between. Hit the tab key by 12 columns left and right with 20 space in between each column. Boom ya! Yeah. Now you might look at yourself and say, whoa, 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 whoa. scary bath, scary bath, rain man, rain man, scary bath. What do I do with this? Well, first of all, we're going to save the changes, make a change, save a change. And we're just going to zoom out a second by hitting Command minus. Now, here's a little production technique. I want these palettes, but right now those palettes are in the way. If I hit the Tab key, I can hide all my palettes. But I don't want to hide all my palettes. I just want to hide the palettes, the secondary palettes. So I can do that by hitting the Shift tab, not Shift T. Shift T A B, the tab key. Shift tab will hide my secondary palettes. Okay. Now, how does this help us? Well, now I have a grid that I can start plotting how I want my website to look. Now, what we'll do here is set this up in such a way that I can use this as a design and bring this into Dreamweaver. Do this a tracing image. Build my CSS rules on top of my Dreamweaver document using this as a tracing image. And then if I want to, I can use that CSS, those CSS rules to bring into a WordPress application using the ultimatum theme, which by the way is my favorite theme. I cover all these techniques in depth in my all access thinklearnearn.guru master course, where you get lifetime access, you get unlimited updates. I update at least once a month on all my pro all my courses, plus I add new courses and new techniques all the time. Now, that goes for X amount of dollars, and we'll talk about that more as the course progresses, but you can actually make a payment on it. I have a payment plan, not a subscription plan, a payment plan, meaning when you're done, you own it. So let's move forward. All right, here's what I want to be able to accomplish. I'm going to deselect this by holding down the Command key. And I want to set this up in such a way that I have different things that I can do with my grid pattern. So here's one of the things I want to do. I'm going to select these objects here. Now if you hold down the command key, it's just going to select those objects, but it may not get all the anchor points. So here's a little technique here. Command and Option or Command and, or Control and Alt for Windows. And that's going to turn into a group selection. I'm going to select all of these objects as a group. So I've sliced it down, now I want to put it back together again. And here's again a simple way to do that. Object, path, split into grid. Now that's kind of productive because I don't want to split it, I want to put it back together. But we don't have to do that because we have our shortcut. Command, Option, Equals. So now I can hit the Tab key twice and type 1 and bingo, boingo, there you go. How incredibly cool was that? I think that was very cool, very easy to do. Holding down the command key and the option key once again, we're going to select this. Because let's say this is going to be our header. Maybe we want to put our logo or maybe we want to put social media over here. In fact, let's do this. Okay? Maybe I want to put my logo up in here and maybe put my social media down below and maybe put a banner ad to generate money for our website. Well, how can I do this? Well, let's think about this intuitively. Okay? First of all, Let's put this back together again by hitting Command Option Equals and hit the Tab key twice and type the 1 key. 
Then let's hit Command Option equals again and simply break this into two rows. Two rows with 20 pixels in between. So therefore I have a nice section for my, in fact maybe this is not big enough for a logo, but it is big enough for social media. But here's what I can do. I'm going to shift tab and bring back my secondary palettes because I want to have my transformation tool here. Now keep in mind that we're measuring, I'm just going to close that back down. We're measuring from the top left hand corner. So now I can just take the height of this, whatever that height happened to be. This number does not matter. I simply want to add 20 pixels onto it. Now I could simply say 20 because Illustrator defaults the pixels because that's how we create our document and right there right into place. So I'm just going to change this to a different color just so I can visually just see that that is different. So I can use this for my logo and then use this for my social media. Okay. Now if I really want to kind of squeeze the sponge and I, I want to take advantage of as much real estate space as I can, I can actually add 20 pixels to the width of this and, and butt that right up against that. But I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Command S, save the changes. Okay. Now in our next video, I will share with you moving forward because I'd like to keep these videos short and sweet to the point. Now, when you take my courses on thinklearner.guru, my videos, I try to keep them between three and five to six minutes. These are free demonstrations, so these videos are a little bit longer. So I do less work posting these on YouTube. But when you take my real life courses, not to say that this is not a real life course, these are separate courses just for your benefit to share with you how great of an instructor I am. And I have no pride in saying that I am a great instructor because I, mean, I know what I'm doing. I engage you in the thinking process and that's how you'll learn. Benjamin Franklin said something genius, which I've used as a company motto for the past uh, probably 20 plus years. Tell me and I'll forget. Involve me. I'm sorry, I just got ahead of myself. Tell me and I'll forget. Teach me, yeah, I'll try to remember. But if you involve me in the thinking process, that's how I will learn. So let's teach you an involving the thinking process moving forward in our next video to put the rest of this comp together. So stay tuned.